Today we're doing a pike uh, fillet tutorial. I'll obviously a lot of people have problems filleting pike because there's a lot of Y bones and if you don't know what you're doing, you can end up with little to no meat. So first off, what I do is I take the belly meat off because in reality there's not a lot of meat there and it gets in the way with uh, the rest of your fish. So I just go ahead, start just below, behind the head, put my finger here and then I just peel up, go past the fins all the way to the butthole. Okay, we're good. Discard, we do not need that. And for this here, what I do is I go down, right behind the head, all the way to the spine, which is located about there. So I'm gonna go down to here, find the spine. A lot of guys like going down and going all the way out. What I like doing is actually finding the spine and then tracing back to save out as much meat as possible. Because I find when you go here and go down, you sometimes miss some meat. So I'm gonna go down. You can see here, this white stuff here, that right there is the spine. So I'm right at that mark and I'm just gonna start tracing back, right above it, all the way back to the tail. And then from there, all I do is just start tracing back. So I'm just gonna go down, just cut and then peel back. And then here on the other side is gonna be your ribs. You can see there, that's the ribs, and I'm just tracing on top of that. If you push down, you'll cut through the ribs. So the idea is just to go on top of them and then just peel, peel back. And in doing this technique, rather than just cutting and peeling it down, you actually don't have to take the ribs off because you look here, and now that's not any bone that's just that white filament that's on top of the ribs uh, and the ribs are left back on the fish all we got to worry about now is our Y bones which is right here to expose them what I do is I just scrape off the top of them and you'll see here if you look down you'll see the tops of them as well as this line that line is the line that's on the spine here are your Y bones so if you look down, you have this bone and that bone and then a Y. So what we're seeing here is that is there and this right there is there. So I got to go down on this side and then come down on this side. The big thing here is not pushing down too much to cut through that bone. So we're going to go down on the side like so. All the way down. I'm just doing a little cut because I want to go this way. I don't want to go all the way down. I want to go down a little bit and then come over. So we went down maybe half an inch, maybe. And then I'm just going to go over. And then back to this, we're going to go down and then you're going to cut this way. When you go down like this, you're going to feel ticking of the bones. So we're here. Follow that line. Tick, tick, tick. And now that we're on the bone, because I just cut to here, we need to trace it and start going this way. So here. You can start to see the Y bones now being exposed. And then we're gonna go back underneath. And if you do it right, you'll actually start to see your knife just behind the Y bones. And then just, you're angling your knife upwards. As you're doing it, I'm gonna go back, make sure I'm gonna get them all. And then if I do it right, you should pull out just like a zipper. So yeah, for the most part, there's not a lot of waste there. You got all the meat left back on the fish. A good way to look at it is you should have meat underneath your Y bones when you pull off the whole fillet. You can do that now and just cut down to hit the skin, pull down, flat surface for your knife. So yeah, you can see meat below your Y bones, which is ideal. That's how you take off the Y bones and you fillet a northern jackfish.